worship him, he's a great God. He's a good God. He's the God that never changed, the unchanging changer. Let us lift up our hands and bless his holy name this morning. He is worthy to receive our praises today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this morning we're going to pray some intercessory prayers. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is here today in his, and he's going to do a mighty thing in our lives this day. In Jesus' name. He will never be the same again after today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So our first prayer point, I will read it and then you repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving today, let everything pulling me down be terminated now in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving today, let everything pulling me down be terminated in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, Meregela Brashke, Miss Kendelege Broska, anything put it down to be terminated today in the name of Jesus. Any power, any principality, any demon pulling me down be terminated today in the name of Jesus. Let it be terminated today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our second prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving today, Accelerate my elevation in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving today, accelerate my elevation in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Father, O oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Madeleke Boshki Bragaha. Accelerate my elevation in the name of Jesus. Accelerate my elevation in the name of Jesus. Accelerate my elevation in the name of Jesus. By my thanksgiving, O God, I will not go back the same today in the name of, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our third prayer point is, Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving and praise today, I take delivery of the balance of my new dawn package that is still outstanding. Father, in the name of Jesus, by my thanksgiving and praise today, I take delivery of the balance of my new dawn package Take delivery of the balance of my due dawn that package. is still outstanding in the name of Jesus. Still outstanding in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, I Father take God delivery, O oh God, Mendere Kashkabaha, of my new dawn package, O oh God, Mendere Gelabrashke. Nothing shall delay my package. Nothing shall delay my package. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I claim it today in the name of Jesus. Mendere Gelabrashke, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is holding my package, I release them today in Jesus' name. Any power, any principality holding my package, I release them today in the name of Jesus. I receive them, I receive them, I receive them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, welcome. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. 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 So I'm going to rejoice. It's going to be a great day. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. So you may be seated. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Greetings from, greetings from Pastor David. Amen. The devil was trying to make me not to come here today. But he's a loser in Jesus' name. He's a complete loser in the name of Jesus. And 
today you're going to receive a great package in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I want everybody to be seated, be quiet, to be seated. Praise the Lord. And no roaming around outside the church. Hallelujah. So today I'm going to continue with the teaching of sowing and receiving and instructed to continue with that teaching today. Amen? Praise the Lord. And the past two weeks or so, pastor has been teaching on this covenant of giving and receiving. Amen? And I'm sure we all know now that this is the platform on which covenant wealth is released to believers. We all know that, right? And we know that this covenant is an unbreakable covenant. Nobody can break it. Amen? There's no prayer, no fasting, no prophetic declaration that can change it. He said in Psalm 89 verse 34, he said, my covenant will I not break. That is God talking. Amen? So what does this mean to us? It means that when you sow, you must reap. If you sow nothing, you get nothing. Praise the Lord. That's exactly what it means. There are many people that are committed givers. They give and give and give. And it seems as if nothing is happening. They are not receiving. Amen? And sometimes we come to the conclusion that this covenant doesn't really work. It really, really works. Amen? Because he said in that time, he says his covenant will not break. And we know that God is not a liar. Amen? So there must be something that we are not doing right. That is why we are not receiving. So today... I'm going to share with you some factors that will make this covenant of giving and receiving work for us. And before I start, I want us to understand that the covenant of giving and receiving is not automatic. Turn to your neighbor and say it's not automatic. Amen? You can ask farmers this question. Because when the farmer sows, he does certain things to make sure the harvest comes out, to make sure the harvest is good. There are things that the farmer does. Praise the Lord. So when you give, there are things you are supposed to be doing. So giving only for the purpose of receiving only will not produce for you. Amen? The covenant of giving and receiving does not function in isolation. It does not function alone. It functions with other scriptural principles. So there are principles there are scriptural principles that make this covenant work. And if we walk in line with these principles, if we are obedient and walk in line with these principles, it will surely produce for us. Amen? It will definitely produce for us. In Jesus' name. So the first factor that we, I want to share with you today is the love work. Everybody say love work. Amen. Walking in love critical for the covenant of giving and receiving to produce. Amen. In John chapter 3, 16, the Bible says, for God so loved the world. He said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for us. Because of the love that God has for us, he made such a priceless sacrifice. Amen. He said, for God so loved the world. He did not say for God so love power or for God so love uh, 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 wealth or for God so love um, to be noticed or to be recognized. He said he so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son to die for us. Praise the Lord. Your giving must be based on the love for God because everything in the kingdom operates under the covenant of love. Everything kingdom. So God is looking at our hearts. Why are you giving that gift? Why are you sowing? Why are you serving? Because it's possible to give without loving. Many people give because they want to boast about it. Many people give because they want to be recognized as the biggest tither in the church, as the biggest giver in this community. Many people give out of obligation, out of necessity. Some people give because they are competing with somebody else. When they see the person come forward to give, they, they 
write a check and come forward. Some just see people coming forward to sow seeds or to give. And they follow and they come forward and come and give. That is why right after service, the person will call back and say, church or pastor, please, can you return the check? Um, there's no money in the account. Praise the Lord. The person did not have to give. Amen? So it shows that that giving was not out of the love for God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you can give without loving. But you cannot love without giving. You cannot say you love me and you won't get out of your way to do things for me. You cannot say you love your children or your wife and don't do anything for them. You give. I saw a movie a few weeks ago about a young boy that climbed Mount Everest. That is 29,000 feet high. Why? Because he wanted to prove to the girl he wanted to marry <laughs> that he's a tough guy. He approached the girl and yes, I can't marry you. You are not tough. Okay, if, if you want me to marry you, climb Mount Everest. And this young boy went on, climbed. We all know that many people don't come down alive. Many don't even make it. But he climbed and came down. I thought he was very crazy, but... Um, thank God that the girl finally agreed to marry him because he became a celebrity. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is giving that proves the sincerity of your love. Loveless giving is profitless giving. Whether it's your tithe, your time, your resources, if it is not based on love, it's useless, it's profitless. Hallelujah. So today, there are two dimensions of love that must inform our giving. The first one is the love for God. You must truly, genuinely love God. In 1 Kings chapter 3, 4, it says, And Solomon loved the Lord. Solomon loved the Lord. And what did he do? He went and sacrificed 1,000 burnt offering unto the Lord. He was not compelled to do that. He was not forced. There was no law about giving or anything like that. He didn't, he, all he was doing was that he loved God. He was motivated by, for the love of God, by the love of God. So he went ahead and did that. And when he was doing it, he was not expecting, or he, 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 he was not doing it because he wanted something. He did it because of the love for God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that is why it's very, very important that our giving must be based on love. Because if it is not based on love, then problems will come up. Amen? Because maybe there will be a delay. Or maybe when a delay comes, or some little slight you know, confusion or something comes up, you will give up. You will stop tithing. You will stop giving. You will stop participating. You will stop doing things the way you used to. You stop serving and become cold. Maybe the person used to sit on the front row, jumping, singing, dancing, praising the Lord. And after some time, you will notice that the person is sitting, you know, on the middle aisle. After some time, a few weeks later, you will see the person sitting by the last chair by the door, frowning and very touchy. In a little while, maybe a few days later, the person is gone out of the church, has exited and maybe go to somewhere else and go and start this process all over again. Why is that so? It's because the giving was not based on love. That giving was not based on love. Because if it is based on love, you will continue giving. You will continue tithing. You will continue praying. You continue singing. You continue praising the Lord. You continue serving in spite of what is happening around you. In spite of what is happening around you. In spite of who is seeing you, you don't care. You just continue doing that because you love God. Amen. Give, give to God because of love and not because of things. Amen. When you do that, things will follow you. That's what that scripture is telling us in Matthew 6, 33. It said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And every other thing will come. Seek God first. Follow him first. Love him. It's very important. Praise the Lord. 
So you must love God. And what do I mean by loving God? Because love is not just an emotion. If you love God, you will love to be in the house of God. You will love to go to church. You'll be excited. David said in Psalm 122 verse 1, he said, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. He was excited. By Saturday, he's getting ready for church. He's put it in his head that this time I'm going to be in church. He'll be here on time. He's very excited about going to church. If we love God, we love to hear his word. You will love to hear the word. You will love to, 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 to come to Bible study. You will love to read the word. You want to study the word of God because you love him. You want to know him more. Psalm 119 verse 97. He said, how love I thy word. He said, they are my meditation all day. He meditates on it every day. It becomes part of him, or rather, he becomes his lifestyle. Meditation. Amen? If you love him, you will love the brethren. You will love people. You will love to speak the word to them. You will love to tell them about Jesus. You will love evangelism. Amen? You will love soul winning because we know that soul winning is the heartbeat of God. That is his heartbeat. Praise the Lord. If we love God, we love to give cheerfully, not grudgingly. Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because these things must be in place. If you want evidence that you don't have faith in God, it's evidence that you don't believe that your God is a rewarder. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You see, depressed people never receive their harvest because they are busy depressed. They are busy counting their losses. They are busy counting all their losses. Busy getting so depressed. So potential husbands come and pass by. They did not see. Potential wives come. They didn't see. Potential employers come and pass by. They did not see it. Potential job opportunities, potential businesses, great business deals just come and pass by. They did not see because they are too depressed. You know how it is when you are depressed. Amen? Sometimes you just lie in bed and just be sleeping your day off and things will be passing and you don't see it. Praise the Lord. And today in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of depression here. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Mike Woodock said something. He said, miracles are coming towards you every day and passing by if you are not ready. That's what he said. Every day, miracles come and they pass. And they pass by if you are not ready. If you are ready, you will grab it. Amen? But if you are busy, depressed, you will not see it. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Somebody is here today, you have given and given, you have sown and sown, and you have been waiting, and you have been waiting. Praise the Lord. And it looks like depression is beginning to weigh you down. I want you to hear the word of God today. He said, be still and know that I am God. He said, don't give up. Never give up. Praise the Lord. He said, even though it tarries, he said, it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. In the name of Jesus, your harvest is just at the corner. I said, your harvest is just at the corner. In the name of Jesus, your light has come. The glory of the Lord is covering you. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Can we please stand up on our feet? Can we please stand up on our feet? Praise the Lord. And I want us to pray this morning. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give me the extra grace to love, the extra grace to walk in faith, the extra grace to live a lifestyle of praise and joy. Can we please open our mouth and pray? It's very important because this is what will help us with our harvest. Father God Almighty, give me the extra grace, oh God. Give me the extra grace to love the extra grace to walk in faith, the extra grace to walk in glory. Father, give me the extra grace, O God. The extra grace, O God. Father, God, give me the extra grace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ nerege roskanda laga baha in the nege los kubras kabahi in the rege broskanda laga open your mouth ask God to give you that grace it's a special grace the grace upon grace in the name of Jesus grace upon grace nerege lo brosh kabaha mighty god everlasting god i need that grace oh god i need that grace oh god empower me oh father empower me today lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name in jesus name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray praise the lord and I decree this morning that everything holding down and delaying your miracle must give way today in Jesus' name. Any power, any principality that is holding down your miracle must give way today in the name of Jesus Christ. As this month comes to an end, everything that has been holding our harvest must go away in the name of Jesus. We lock them into the month of November 2017 in Jesus' name every contention of hell against my harvest today in the name of Jesus comes to an end I say they come to an end they are all coming to an end in the name of Jesus everything that is a destroyer to my harvest or to my seed Father today they come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ I see your healing taking place right now I see healing being released I see your jobs released I see all your miracles released in the name of Jesus. I see promotions right now. I say I see promotions right now. Elevation unto enviable heights. In the name of Jesus Christ. Accelerating elevation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies upon testimonies. I say testimonies upon testimonies. Because your light has come. Your light has come. Receive in the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Hallelujah. I see elevation to enviable heights. Somebody, the Lord is elevating somebody, accelerating elevation. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And if you are here today or watching and you don't know Jesus, this is an opportunity to do so. Amen. And just say after me, I repent. I, you know, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you so many times. Come into my heart, oh Lord Jesus. Be my Lord and personal Savior. From today, oh God, I will serve you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And if you have done so, we believe that you are born again. Amen. So please look for a Bible-believing church wherever you are and get connected and get planted in Jesus' name. And if you are in this greater Houston area, you are welcome to worship with us. Amen? We we'll make you feel at home in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.